your chest to stop moving. I want your heart to stop beating. And I want you in hell where you belong so this whole thing can be over with. I know. All that time we weren't together, and now? I don't want to miss another day. I'm serious, I don't. We fought for this. this we deserve this. And we're not going to let it go again. Hey, guys. How's the patient? You look great. Thank you. I feel great, which is why I don't understand why I'm still in the hospital. Hint, hint. You took a bullet, Madison. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that. Wrong place, wrong time. Story of my life. Let's go away. Right now? No. Well, take a vacation during the holidays. I've taken all this time off at the hospital. I'm thinking, let's go see my parents. They'd love that, you know? Teach Trevor how to swim in the ocean. Yeah, it sounds really, really nice. Your enthusiasm is killing me. Uh, uh, no, it's... Uh, I really do want to go, Jake. It sounds really great. It's just that... I'm not saying that we have to stay with my parents, okay? A little bit. And then we'll go to Disney World. We'll have a great time. Be five stars, babe. It's not where we're going. It's when. I... I, uh... Volunteered to do a lot of charity work at the Miranda Center this month. Oh. Well, every every single day? Well, I mean, we haven't set the schedule yet, but it is gonna be pretty regular. Hey. Oh, hi, Griffin. Just getting some takeout. If you take it on out, then. I hear you're gonna be joining us at the Miranda Center? That's great. We can use all the help we can get. I will be there. What? Why don't you tell me that part of the information or the other part? What do you mean? You're working at the Miranda Center with him? It was his idea, wasn't it? This is all your fault. Zach would be alive, and my children would have their father. I hope this was a wake-up call. I'm awake. Frankie's just upset that this happened to you. Well, yeah, I know, me too. I mean, it wasn't my idea to get shot. No, but it figures Ryan would be involved when you did. It was an accident. He may not have pulled the trigger, but somehow he's always around when you get hurt. You think that's a coincidence? <laughs> yes. I don't. Look, Frankie, I appreciate your concern. I really do. But this wasn't Ryan's fault. I'm not just talking about the bullet wound. 
I get it. Greenlee. I don't think that she needs this right now, honey. No, it's okay. You know, I fell in love with a guy who's in love with someone else. It happens. It hurt like hell. I'm not going to deny that. But Ryan did the best he could under lousy circumstances. If you say so. Most guys would have just lost my number and moved on. But Ryan didn't. You know, he still worries about me. He's a good guy, Frankie. Look, you can make all the excuses you want for him, but you deserve way better. Why would you immediately assume that my volunteering at the Miranda Center was Griffin's idea? So it wasn't? And it wasn't. Well, he did bring it up, but... Oh, well, there you go, you see. No, no, I don't see why you are waiting for him to expose some deep, dark conspiracy. I'm not waiting for him to do anything. The other woman didn't mention his name. What do you think his plans are for me? To lure me into a bed at a center for troubled women and children? Did I say that? Well, then what then? Let's drop it. No, come on, Jake. What is it? I said drop it. That's what uh, I... Come on, seriously, Jake. What is your problem? Oh. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? It's not... It's not bad. It's just that when you walk into a room, guys' heads spin off their body like the exorcist, okay? I mean, if it wasn't for the ring on your finger, they'd be clobbering each other just to open the door for you, and, and some of them don't even care about the ring. Because Griffin took care away from you when she had your ring on her finger. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, would you trust a person like that? I, I just don't. I just don't. I just don't trust him. Well, I hope that you trust me. I do trust you. I do. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's me. I'm, you know... It's what I get. Thanks, God. That's what I get. I married the most beautiful girl in the world. It's what I get. I say. Oh, that's better. What? Nothing. It's just. Kendall? Yeah, you know what? I try not to think about it. Sometimes I can go for a whole hour, but then I close my eyes and all I can see is Kendall looking out over the water where Zach's plane went down. I'm glad you were there with her. Yeah, and I don't think it helped much. I bet it did. Yeah, well, I thought so too. And then we came home and she could barely look at me. Well, you gotta give her time, you know? She's can't just sort of give up on her. She's grieving. She's she's in shock, really. My mess started this whole thing. My stupid mistake marrying David caused a good man to die and broke my best friend's heart. How do I fix that? You can't fix it. You can't fix it, Greenlee, but, but blaming yourself isn't the answer either. Well, it'll do until something better comes along. Greenlee, I'm You weren't there, this. Ryan. You didn't see her face when she was saying goodbye to the love of her life. That's when I knew there was no going back from this. I mean, you said it yourself at Thanksgiving. Every time she looks at us, she's going to be reminded of how Zach died. But not forever. Okay? She's not lost. Not yet. Zach. Zach. What the hell are you doing? No, let me go, let me go. No, I don't think so. No, no, Easy. no, no, he killed me. Easy. No, no, he killed my husband. It's not me. He killed my husband. It's not me. It's not me. No. Hey, guys. Hey, Bianca, how's Kendall? Uh, about the same. Your heart's broken. Yeah. Uh, has there been any word about a memorial or...? Uh, yeah, Kendall finally decided to have one. Mm. But we're still working out all the details. So. All right. Well, hey, um, seriously, please call us if you need anything. Anything. I will. Thank you. I still cannot believe that about Zach. It's surreal. I mean, he always seemed so much larger than life, you know? That was indomitable. 
What well, makes it so much harder for Kendall, I'm sure. I still can't believe you saved your life in Africa. I know. It's like another lifetime. The life that you never talk about. I do talk about it. Well, dates and places maybe, but no, Jake, actually you don't talk about that life, but not with me. Because it doesn't belong in here. It's got nothing to do with us. I, it was a lifetime ago, you know? I don't... It's like a blur. I don't remember it even. Well, Griffin was part of that blur, and that memory seems pretty fresh. What are you... Are you trying to get me to say something? What do you want me to say? I want to know everything. I want to know about your life over there. What was it like? What was Kara like? Look... Kendall will heal, okay? She will. And if she's not accepting our help right now, then we just gotta be patient and be there for her then when she's ready. I know. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't expect it to instantly be the way I want it to be. Yeah, well, being you works pretty good. <sighs> Sometimes. I guess I have my moments. Hey, I don't want you to start thinking that Zach's death and us starting over are the same thing. I'm trying. I know you are. I know what, what happened, it, it's happened. You know, and it would be unbelievable if we could go back and we could fix things and we could bring Zach back, but we can. We gotta accept that. And we have each other to help do that. I think that's a that's a hell of a lot. How come you got all the patience? <laughs> I'm gonna remind you that you asked me that next time I'm bouncing off the walls. You make a pretty good team, right? The best. Mm -hmm. I spoke to my dad. And he's getting the divorce from David moving as soon as possible. Good. And you're right. Finding each other again is a real blessing. It's a gift. I'm never gonna take it for granted. I love you so much. Mm. I wish we could just stay like this forever. Except we'd probably have to come up for air yeah, eventually. That's true. It's a good thing because I promised Emma that I would take her to the hospital. To see Madison? Yeah. Well, I'll go with you. <clears throat> you know, technically, I'm still in charge of David's care, and the doctors want to consult with him. No, I don't want you going anywhere near him. Oh, Ryan, I, he's in a coma. Uh, okay, but if, if he wakes up or, or anything, just just get out of there. Please, please get out of there. Just let the cops handle it. I'll be careful. Relax. David can't do anything to us. Anymore. <laughs> let me go. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look, I, I want to believe I didn't just walk in on you about to smother Dr. Hayward. I don't want to talk about Look, that. I think I understand. You're overwhelmed with grief. You blame David for your husband's death. But do you have any idea what would have happened if you went through with this? And I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about your kids. And what about your mother? She could be facing a murder charge if David dies. And look, look at me. No matter what this man did, you cannot play God. My child's father is at the bottom of the ocean. Because that man did nothing but play God every day of his life.